with our business at Real Interior Paint Auto Body, our passion is, is people and our success is because of our customers. The advertising I've done with KKCO has been a great experience producing a commercial. It's very easy, it's not scary, and they make it fun. I'm not going to stop advertising because not only has my business grown since I started advertising with KKCO, we're making new friends and new customers. Half a check? I'll get you the money you deserve. Call me. I'm attorney Greg Remigate, 263-GREG. If you're hurt, then all you need, call 263-GREG. Coming up on Daybreak, local hospitals are taking extra precautions. What new restrictions go into effect today? And a doctor shows us how you can make hand sanitizer from home. Also, Brad is tracking your forecast for the week ahead. Find out when the best times will be to get outside. Live from Grand Junction, this is Daybreak. Good morning and a very happy Monday to you. It is 6 a.m. now. I'm Sarah Swabby. Thank you for joining us here on Daybreak to start your day. We have the latest developments on COVID-19 on the western slope coming up. But first, Brad is tracking our forecast for today. Brad, what can we expect outside this morning? Well, uh, early on this morning, it's not that bad out there. Our temperatures are still uh, mainly above freezing in the lower elevations. 37 right now in Grand Junction, 38 in Delta, 34 in Montrose, down to 32 in Rifle. But still, not a bad start here when it comes to our morning temperatures. Uh, that being said, not going to warm things up as much here today either. It's going to be kind of like yesterday, but we're going to see more cloud cover. And eventually, we will be talking about some rain moving back in here too. We're already starting to see some of this moisture build in here on radar. Now, keep in mind, a lot of this not reaching the ground. Uh, the only areas where we are seeing some of this uh, light snow is uh, in the higher elevations, up over the Uncompahgre. Gray, the flat tops, the Grand Mesa, most of us not really seeing any of this make it down to the ground just yet, especially in the lower valleys. But we will be talking about that later on today, especially as we go into the afternoon and evening. Still keeping things cooler today, too, but we will be warming things up later this week. I'll talk more about that coming up in the forecast in just a few minutes. Sarah? Okay, Brad, thank you. Mesa County Public Health has announced that two more Mesa County residents have tested positive for COVID-19, bringing the total to four within the county. One is a man over the age of 60, while the other who tested positive is a man in his 40s. Both individuals are self-isolating in their homes. Officials say while they expect more cases, they are working hard to stop the spread of the virus. In the meantime, Governor Jared Polis has ordered non-essential workplaces to reduce their workforce by half. He said yesterday during a news conference that if your workplace can reduce by more than 50 percent through telecommuting and other avenues to do it. This comes as the latest data shows there are 591 positive cases of COVID-19 in Colorado. The number jumping from 475 that was reported on Saturday. A sixth person in Colorado has now died from COVID-19. There have been more than 5,000 tests taken so far in the state. Starting today, hospitals are coordinating with Mesa County Public Health to add even more visitor restrictions in response to COVID-19. Daybreak reporter Natalie Cruz is live in the newsroom this morning to break it all down for us. Natalie, good morning. Good morning, Sarah. With so much going on, the hospitals are being very cautious. Starting today, hospitals in the Grand Valley will only allow one personal caregiver per patient visit for labor and delivery, surgery, and intensive care unit. It also applies to patients who are being discharged in getting specific instructions and dementia and other patients requiring one-on-one -on -one oversight. Hospitals are coordinating with the health department to help ensure our community is able to provide the greatest support possible and protect the safety of citizens. Hospitals in our area are encouraging those who want to check on a current patient to reach out to them via cell phone, email, or social media. Sarah? Okay, Natalie, thank you. COVID-19 is keeping many people confined to their homes and often unable to get the things they need. One local church is making sure no one goes without. The Food Bank of the Rockies donated 20,000 pounds of food to Canyon View Vineyard Church to be distributed to the community. Volunteers swarmed the parking lot of the church this over the weekend.